Hi everyone, thanks for watching today. I am recreating a look and it was a request by Kaleidoscope. She has asked for an Alexa Chung um, look and I'm a huge, huge fan of hers and now that I've cut my hair and it's kind of the length of hers, I thought it's a perfect time to do it. Um, she's just beautiful, her style is incredible and when I was researching her makeup, I just noticed every single photo it was basically the same makeup. It is simple and it is beautiful. It's just a really thin eyeliner, it comes out a little bit on the ends, um, actually a little bit, it kind of really goes out quite longish. Um, her, her cheeks are always a really kind of cool pink, not too much warm, but it was really kind of a really cool colour pink, so a blue tone type of pink. And her lips are just a really natural pink colour, so that's what we're doing today. I hope you really like it. I'm going to start off by using my uh, Pro Lumiere foundation. It's in 40, and I'm just going to apply that with my fingers. She has quite, um, not full coverage makeup, but it's definitely very clean skin um, and dewy. So not matte, it's just really breathable skin. So I'm just going to blend all that in. To conceal any blemishes, I'm going to take my NW25 Studio Fix from MAC and my MAC 224 and just cover up any blemishes that I might have. So just along there. For under the eyes, I want to keep it quite light. Um, so I'm going to use my Erase Paste in number two and just really focus on the inner corners and just kind of bringing out that um, or trying to remove that purplish bluish tone that's under there. For the eyes, I want to keep it really natural. Um, Alexa, in all the photos, well, 90% of them, if they're quite bare. So I'm going to take my uh, MAC uh, Pantoly Paint Pot and just with my Sheer Mirror number 10 brush, I'm just going to apply it over the lid of my eyes. Just really minimal, just over the These paint pots in the nude, really natural colour are amazing, especially if you're one of those people that have kind of a natural dark eye, it's really good. It kind of covers it and then you've got like a blank canvas to work with. So they're great and they last all day. I'm next going to take Voyage from NARS. It's a really nice beige with kind of like gold flicks through it. So. I'm just going to apply that on my socket line, just like that. It's a really nude colour, you would hardly even notice it, but it kind of just adds a little bit of definition. Now for the liner, I'll actually zoom in so you can have a proper look at that. I'm going to use um, MAC Black Track, the fluid line. And it, I really, really like this. It doesn't budge, it doesn't smudge, it's great. And it's really, really black. So I've just put a bit on my Becca number no. 6 brush, which is a really fine liner brush. Alexa has quite fine eyeliner, so I just want to copy exactly the same. And I'm going to just start here and just follow my lash line. Really, really fine. Don't forget to take it in the corner because she does definitely have it all over the top lash line.
Now for the flick, it's just a really fine, longish, not very high, it kind of just comes out to the end of my lash line, so just where that line is. Like that. So that is basically the line that she has. I mean, Google and have a look, you'd be so surprised. I really, really was. I didn't expect every single photo to be the same, but it really, really is. So I'll just do the, the other eye. So that's the eyeliner done. You can just see it's just a really nice flick out, not too thick um, either. So really, really easy. I'm next going to take from Bourjois. I spoke about this in my last video. It is the number 74 eyeshadow. And I'm just going to bring it into the halfway. Again, in all her images, she's kind of got a, a shadow eyeliner just halfway. I'm going to use a shadow today. And I'm just going to apply that with the MAC, actually not with this one, I will take, uh, where are you? I'm going to take Ray Morris's number 12 chiseled smudge brush and just apply a little bit of that on the brush and then just go underneath, like I said, just halfway. I'm then going to take my Christian Dior just in a brown eyeliner and just go over that again just halfway. Just like that. I'm going to curl my lashes with my Shio Mira eyelash curler. So just pop them in there and clamp them up. And then for mascara, I'm going to use this little one. It's the uh, Dior Extase, just in black. She always has it underneath as well. For the eyebrows, she has quite full natural brows, so I'm going to use an Anastasia Brow Wiz in medium ash and just fill in the gaps. So not really anything too much, but just kind of filling them in. Then I'm then going to take a brow um, gel and this is from Anastasia and I'm just going to brush my brows up. So really just kind of neaten them up.
For the cheeks, like I said, she has quite a cool pink. So I'm going to use Well Dressed by MAC. And just on the apples of the cheek, just apply that. For the lips, I'm just going to use this Guerlain, um, it's called Transparent Brilliant in 361 with my MAC 318 brush. It's just a really natural pink colour, nothing special, just apply that. So that's the final Alexa Chung makeup. It was so, so simple. Uh, her main focus is the eyeliner, so that real nice kind of flick on the eye, uh, the pinky cheeks, and just really natural lips. She's beautiful. Her style is amazing. So um, I hope you guys like it. I hope it looks a little bit like her. Um, and I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.